When I got to the police station, they made me take the laces out of my shoes and empty my pockets at the front desk in case I had anything in them that I could use to kill myself or escape or attack a policeman with. The sergeant behind the desk had very hairy hands and he had bitten his nails so much that they had bled. This is what I had in my pockets. One, a Swiss army knife with 13 attachments including a wire stripper and a saw and a toothpick and tweezers. Two, a piece of string. Three, a piece of a wooden puzzle which looked like this. Four, three pellets of rat food for Toby, my rat. Five, one pound and 47 pence. This was made up of a one pound coin, a 20 pence coin, two 10 pence coins, a five pence coin, and a two pence coin. Six, a red paper clip. Seven, a key for the front door. I was also wearing my watch, and they wanted me to leave this at the desk as well, but I said that I needed to keep my watch on, because I needed to know exactly what time it was. And when they tried to take it off me, I screamed, so they let me keep it on. They asked me if I had any family, I said I did. They asked me who my family was, I said it was father, but mother was dead. And I said it was also Uncle Terry, but he was in Sunderland, and he was father's brother. And it was my grandparents too but three of them were dead and Grandma Burton was in a home because she had senile dementia and thought that I was someone on television. Then they asked me for father's phone number. I told them that he had two numbers, one for at home and one which was a mobile phone, and I said both of them. It was nice in the police cell. It was almost a perfect cube, two meters long by two meters wide by two meters high. It contained approximately eight cubic meters of air. It had a small window with bars and, on the opposite side, a metal door with a long, thin hatch near the floor for sliding trays of food into the cell and a sliding hatch higher up so that the policeman could look in and check that prisoners hadn't escaped or committed suicide. There was also a padded bench. I wondered how I would escape if I was in a story. It would be difficult because the only things I had were my clothes and my shoes, which had no laces in them. I decided that my best plan would be to wait for a really sunny day and then use my glasses to focus the sunlight on a piece of my clothing and start a fire. I would then make my escape when they saw the smoke and took me out of the cell, and if they didn't notice, I would be able to wee on the clothes and put them out. I wondered whether Mrs. Shears had told the police that I had killed Wellington, and whether, when the police found out that she lied, she would go to prison, because telling lies about people is called slander.